Hi, my name is Peter uh, from Carbon Studio. I'm the marketing director, and uh, we, came, we came here to Gamescom uh, to showcase the Wizards Dark Times, which is a standalone expansion to the Wizards. There is a lot of changes we're introducing to the game. Uh, basically, we gathered uh, a lot of feedback from many, many sources, and uh, we really wanted to improve on the aspects that we did good and get rid of the aspects that are not so well made. Reworking the gameplay formula so that uh, players are no longer locked in arenas uh, a lot and with waves of enemies coming at them. And so uh, this will, there's much more emphasis on the aspect of adventure in the game. So this is like a streamlined experience. You're on a quest, you do, you're not going back to the hub after each level. We are planning to include 11 spells in the game with elemental spells having an invoked version. So kind of an enhanced version of the spell. We're introducing something we call abnormal states, which are just simply element modifiers. So an enemy hit with the ice bow uh, will become chilled. If you hit him twice, he will become frozen. And uh, if an enemy is chilled and hit with a fireball, he will become wet and therefore more susceptible to lightning damage. Like this would add in a, a sort of a tactical aspect to, to gameplay. And to really, it's not about uh, choosing your favorite spell and just going with it through the game. We want each spell to have its uh, purpose in the game and various enemies uh, will also uh, have some resistance to some kinds of magic, so we, you, you will have to find a way to approach them correctly. Also about enemies, uh, we are uh, like we, we gathered a lot of feedback uh, that uh, we need more variety in enemies. So that's precisely what we're doing. Uh, we're also implementing a bit more advanced AI. So, uh, for example, in the demo, we're showcasing uh, shroom links, which are just uh, clumsy poisonous mushrooms that run at you and explode, but they actually burrow in the ground wait for you to approach. If you get out of the range, they will uh, hide and try to find a new place to hide and uh, get a jump on you and explode in a poisonous cloud. There's also the uh, terrifying the unlit who hurls uh, dark spears at you and uh, they are usually patrolling paths along the way. So uh, with this change gameplay formula, it will be like a streamlined adventure. So you're going and you're actually stumbling upon en enemies patrolling the paths. So you're not locked in arenas and it's not like such an arcade artificial uh, style. So we're putting much more emphasis on the aspect of adventure. We're focusing on the single player experience. Um, it's possible that we will add some collectibles, but uh, uh, we're focusing on the aspect of adventure because the narrative is uh, something that is uh, apparently very strong in our game, and uh, the gesture-based spellcasting system is like uh, the bread and butter of the wizards, so uh, this is something we wanted to improve on, and hopefully uh, with this uh, introduced variety of spells and enemies, uh, this will be a much more varied experience. So each time you get into the game, you might try out new tactics and uh, new combinations of spells. Lengthwise, it will be similar to the wizards, and uh, it depends on the person. Like uh, somebody can beat the game in four hours, others will take 10, so it will be similar. But this is a standalone expansion, you don't need a base game, and uh, you can just uh, enjoy it out of the box. So. Um, yeah, we're preparing for launch on PC VR and uh, we're also preparing a separate version for Oculus Quest. The launch is set, uh, we're planning the launch for uh, Q1 2020. So, yeah, and uh, PS VR is a future possibility. If you want to talk to us, uh, if you have any suggestions about the game, uh, or if you just uh, want to talk to the devs, uh, visit our Discord at uh, discord.gg slash become a wizard. Uh, we also have a studio webpage, uh, carbonstudio.pl. So feel free to check us out and VR Focus.